This is a test for low millivolts on AC. I was wanting to test a circuit to measure like a, a heart rate and a ECG signals, I guess. And so I have this old audio oscillator. It's a 600 ohm output. And it can put out down to millivolt levels. It has a 20 dB attenuator. And I was noticing something interesting that this is a new meter, maybe two years old. It doesn't have millivolt AC. If you notice, it's just volt AC, but no millivolt. But you go to amps, it has milliamp DC AC, and it has DC millivolt, but just. Uh, AC volt with a low filter option, but the display says it can go down to one millivolt AC, true or less. So I have a 10 millivolt signal coming out of here, and the scope measures 15 millivolt RMS, and the old venerable DM, bench DMM, 1984 measures 10 millivolt. And the venerable old Fluke 8060 from 1982 measures a nice 10 millivolt with a resolution of 10 microvolt on the 200 millivolt scale, which is DC AC. Oops, and then we have our old. Luke 189, which has a AC millivolt. They can go down to a microvolt. Anyway, so these agree roughly 10 millivolt. But notice this meter is not registering. So you would think I have nothing there, so I just bump it up a little. Still not registering. Oh, there it goes 18. That's basically it. If you wanted to measure low millivolts, you know, below 20 millivolts, uh, you would not want to use this meter. And uh, it's interesting that it has a, a cutoff like that. I've never seen that in any other meter. Below 10 millivolts and it registers zero, even though 10 millivolts should show up as 010 here. Just something to watch out for. <laughs> and, uh, otherwise, these two meters are like uh, about 30 years apart or something. This one had I mean, more options than I've ever seen on of handheld uh, it's nice it has you know temperature and microamps and DC milliamp to microamp that's I think uh, diode and capacitance this old guy from 82 has diodes and Siemens or the inverse of ohms. So amp volt ohm Siemens. But uh, anyway, so this guy is a nice analog uh, oscillator with a square sign out and you notice when you change range it does a little settling show you it's analog <laughs> some kind of a maybe a PLL or something that's locking into frequency and you can turn it all the way down to one millivolt and so it's good like to test microphone circuits 
uh, low low voltage, high amp, high gain. Interesting combo of DMMs though. 